Hey everyone and welcome to a brand new Class 66 Rocks model railway review. Now in this review I am taking a look at a model railway accessory. Um, now I have got three particular products of this brand that we're looking at today. Um, I purchased them on eBay about a week ago and um, they cost roughly about just over £200 more or less. Um, so I got a pretty good deal compared to what they usually should cost. Um, so I've got it set up on the tripod just for the moment but when we come to put this um, accessory together I'll move either down to the kitchen area and use my GoPro or use the camcorder freehand um, because I've only just managed to get this particular box into the camcorder viewfinder. So without further ado let's have a look at what we've got today then. So as you can see today it is in quite a long box so if we just bring it forward and I'm just trying to balance this with both hands whilst doing the filming at the same time we have the Prozies RR HO01 rolling road with drive wheel cleaning. Now I'm sure Prozies is an American company and I've been after this particular rolling road for quite some time as it's going to replace my current Hornby one. Um, I'm still going to use the Hornby one now and again but um, the particular reason I got this one was because some of my locos are quite long so I wanted something that would accommodate the size of them. So as you can see um, the max loco length is 50 centimeters, which is 19.7 inches. It includes six rollers, four cleaners, the base, and it is for HO and double O gauge analog or digital locomotives. Uh, as you can see, it's not suitable for children under 14 years of age, and it's made in Turkey. So if we just move the box across to the side, as you can see, and um, we've got an image of the rolling road, if you can see that, um, I'm just going to try and angle it the best I can just so it fits into the camcorder viewfinder. Like I said I was planning on using the GoPro this morning for this review um, so I still might do um, once we've got it all set up. So I'll be showing you the contents um, in my room because I can unbox it in here and then we'll, like I said, we'll get it set up. So as you can see it comes with the rollers as you can see just there on the top row and also the wheel cleaners on the bottom row. So we'll just open the box and have a look at what comes inside. Um, so I'm just looking over at the camcorder viewfinder just to make sure that I get the box in as I'm opening it with it being quite long. Okay so let's take a look at what we've got inside the box there. So we'll just put the rolling road down just for a second. So the first thing that we've got, and I'll just move the box out of the way, is the instructions for the rolling road and the rollers. Um, now you can actually have these in different configurations it seems after looking at the instructions. Um, so it comes with six rollers and four cleaners. Um, it's for DC or DCC two rail um, controllers. And we've got a DC or DCC controller point just on the bottom there. So like I say you can actually set them in different um, formations. You can either have the cleaners over the wheels or the cleaners on the wheels that you don't want to be cleaned whilst running it in. Um, but on here it tells you the different product codes and the cleaner sets that you can actually get. So on the bottom here it says they can all be powered by any DC or DCC controller, analog or digital. Roller sets can be added to RRH01 to roll locomotives with more than six power axles. So if I ever have a locomotive and I haven't got enough um, cleaners or rollers then that means I can actually purchase more. Um, so I'll be keeping hold of this sheet um, until then. So on the back here you can see how to use the rollers and the cleaners on the tracks and we have some sample configurations with a 462 steam locomotive. So as you can see we have a loco drive rolling or a loco drive wheel cleaning where the cleaners are used as supports for underpowered axles or the cleaning 
Um, cleaners are used to do the drive wheels. Um, or if it's a tender driven loco, you can put the cleaners at the front and put the rollers at the back. Um, or if you want to keep the tender wheels clean, uh, you put the cleaners at the back and the rollers at the front. Like I say, there's obviously different formations in which you can have this particular rolling road. So um, not all my locomotives will be the same. So depending on what I plan on doing with them, um, I'll set the rollers and the cleaners in different formations and um, be able to get them programmed and running, etc. So we'll just put this down just for a second. Okay, so onto the rolling road. So I'm not going to unfasten it just yet, um, but you can probably see in the bag what's included. So like I say, this will be in the second half of this video in just a few minutes when I um, go downstairs, hopefully. Um, so as you can see, the rolling road it is really, really long. And like I say, it, it only just did fit into the camcorder viewfinder. Um, but included in there, as you can see, we've got the, the rollers there. Um, we've got the base, as you can see. And up at the back here, we have the cleaning pads as well. So those are all taped together very nicely and surrounded with a plastic bag to keep the parts all safe from getting damaged. Um, so we will just end this part of the review and I will move on to getting it set up. Um, I'll also get a locomotive put onto the rolling road and I will show you the rolling road in its full performance. Okay, hey everyone and welcome back to the second part of the review. Now I've just been to the loft and I've got my Batman Dynamis um, down. Um, we're actually in the kitchen now. Um, so as you can see I've got my Dynamis linked up to the Prosy's rolling road as you can see. Um, the driving end is at the other side just over here um, so as you can see at the moment we've got our Batman Freightliner class 70 uh, on the rolling road and as you can see just there if I bring my GoPro in we've got the directional lighting um, switched on so it's all programmed and ready to go uh, as you can see I've also put the rollers on um, I've had to leave one roller off um, as it had split so I've just had to put a bit of glue on it just to strengthen it back together again um, so that's currently drying but it doesn't affect the overall performance of the class 70 all the other rollers are on um, and I've, I've tested it prior to starting filming just to make sure nothing goes wrong um, now I've filmed this on my GoPro as there's quite a lot of sunlight coming through the window and when I tried it with the camcorder it made the loco and everything else look really bright so like I say, I've got my GoPro out um, and I'm filming it on this instead. So let's get on with the running of the Class 70 just to show you how it works. So taking a look at the Dynamis handset, as you can see, I'm just trying to avoid the glare there. It's programmed to the Class 70. It's loco number 21. Um, I've set it at 14 speed steps um, just for this demonstration. So if I just use the throttle button there now, um, you should start hearing the locomotive run. So as you can see, um, I've only got it on a slow speed in any case, just to show you the loco running. So as you can probably hear or see, um, the wheels are turning on the rolling road. So, if we just come around to this other side now, as you can see, the loco isn't moving aggressively at all. So, I can up the speed slightly or slow it down. Um, obviously, we want a nice, gentle speed for it. Um, like I say, this is just for display purposes only, just to show you um, the rolling road in action. Now, this little piece here, um, you can actually put some track in there if you wish. Um, as we've noticed on the box, um, it does show you a piece of double O gauge or HO scale track. Uh, the cleaning pads, I put the double sided sticky tape on. Um, well, I think it's like a foam back in one side and tape the other. 
Um, so I've just placed them underneath um, at the front there and just in the middle because um, we won't be cleaning the wheels today but I thought I'd just put them on just to show you um, how they fitted etc. So that is it basically. The Prozies RRHO01 Rolling Road.